This video is a response video to one of my former design classmates who wanted help with setting up a specific grid. Now he wanted his document to be in A4 in landscape orientation with a letting of 13 points. So as we can see, 13 points doesn't really fit perfectly here. So what we need to do is we need to uncheck fit letting to give us 13 points exactly. So the first tricky part here is that he wanted his columns to be as close as possible to 10 millimeters all around the document. So let's see how we're going to figure this one out. I'm going to select the rectangle tool and make sure that the height is 10 millimeters. Uh, actually, you can just click on the document and this dialog comes up. Click OK. Place this at the top of the document and at the bottom of the document. Okay, so um, then I'm going to set my documents to be as close as possible to this the height of the uh, the box here. Now this only serves as a vis visual guide. Then I'm going to set my bottom margin and it doesn't really matter here. It's up to you where you want to place it. I'm going to place it at two steps here. Then I'm going to bring out the calculator. And I'm going to add the top margin to the bottom margin. I'm going to take this value and I'm going to divide it with two here. And this gives us a value of 10.900 and uh, 98.45. So I'm going to round this off to 10.985 because it ends with a five here, the four becomes a five. So let's check value here and enter 10.985, copy that. And as you can see, 13 points fits perfectly here. I'm going to delete these boxes here. Go back to margins and check value here. And I'm just going to paste this value in here for the sides as well. As we can see, we have uh, 10.985 millimeters around the entire document. Now the second thing was that he wanted to have 12 columns. So let's set that up in custom setup here. And for now I'm just going to enter any gutter. Three millimeters. Now here's the tricky part. I wanted to give him a good grid. So I wanted to have a type area uh, grid where the gutters of the columns align with the, uh, the grid inside of the type area. So let's see how I'm going to do that. I'm just going to enter any number here, 70. And the goal is to make sure, if let's zoom in here, to have the, the gutters align with the, uh, the grid here. So I'm just going to play until my value gets around three millimeters and we'll see what happens. Actually, let's zoom out. Um, so I just play around and here we see that 83 is a value that sort of makes these uh, gutters of the columns align almost perfectly. And I'm almost sure that if I edit the gutter of my columns here, they are going to match quite nicely. So let's enter this value in the gutter, 3.314, and we have a perfect match. So that's how you solve it, and I hope you like this video.